Apple has released Parrot UI and as was expected, Apple is targeting mobile phones and their applications. Mobile applications have become an important part of daily life, serving as tools for individuals to achieve personal goals, including searching for information such as jobs, making reservations, buying groceries, and seeking entertainment. In order to accomplish these tasks, we inspect the current screen visually and perform the desired actions based on our goals. Automating this process of perception and interaction has the potential to help users achieve their goal with relative ease. Also, it is quite a valuable building block for accessibility, multi-step UI navigation, app testing, usability studies and much more. To facilitate seamless automation of perception and interaction within user interfaces, a sophisticated system endowed with all the set of key capabilities is essential. Such a system must possess the ability to not only comprehend the entirety of screen, but also to concentrate on specific UI elements within that screen. With visual understanding as the foundation, it should further be able to map natural language instructions to corresponding actions within a given user interface, execute advanced reasoning, and provide exhaustive details concerning the screens as it interacts with easily. All of these developments require the creation of a vision language model, which should be adept at both referring and grounding in relation to user interface screens and referring and grounding is happening on the image which you can see on your screen. Here, referring requires the system to utilize particular regional image information in the screen input, while grounding involves the model's capacity to identify and denote precise locations on the screen in its outputs. Existing approaches are not really sufficient in fully addressing these key capabilities. On one hand, while multimodal large language models like Parrot, Hikra, and Cosmos 2 demonstrate strong referring and grounding capabilities, their scope is mainly restricted to natural images. Directly adapting these models to UI screens can be limiting since UI screens typically exhibit more elongated aspect ratios and contain smaller objects of interest, for example, icons, text, than natural images. Relying solely on a directly resized low resolution global image could lead to loss of important visual signals that are really essential for screen understanding and interaction. That is where Parrot UI enters the scene. Parrot UI is the first ever multimodal large language model designed to execute precise referring and grounding tasks specific to UI screens while adeptly interpreting and acting upon open-ended language instructions. Apple has addressed the above-mentioned limitations by focusing on three pivotal dimensions, improved model architecture, data curation, and benchmark establishment. Now, if you look at the architecture of this model, they have based their approach on Ferret, which is an MLLM known for its strong performance in referring and grounding with natural images. Now, as I said, Ferret is quite good with UI screens. Now, to train Ferret UI, they have generated data at different granularities, covering basic semantic and special tasks for UI primitives to advanced reasoning tasks. They first generate training samples for elementary UI tasks using a template-based approach. This covers the referring tasks such as <clears throat> widget classification, icon recognition, OCR, and grounding tasks like find widget, find icon, find text, and widget listing. Also, if you look at this screen, this is what is happening in grounding task and also the referring task. So you can see that Ferret UI is able to perform referring tasks such as uh, icon recognition and OCR 
with flexible input format such as point, box, and scribble. <clears throat> and grounding tasks are also being performed such as find widget, find icon, find text widget listing on mobile UI screens. These elementary tasks equip the model with rich visual and spatial knowledge, enabling it to distinguish UI types such as both course and find levels and between various icons or text elements. This foundational knowledge is crucial for performing more advanced tasks. Specifically, Parrot UI is able to not only discuss visual elements in detailed description and perception conversation, but also proposes goal-oriented actions in interaction conversation and reduce the overall function of the screen via function inference. This is the overview of Ferret UI architectures. While well, Ferret UI base closely follow, follows Ferret's architecture, Ferret UI AnyRes incorporates additional fine-grained image features, particularly a pre-trained image encoder and projection layer produce image features for the entire screen. For each sub-image obtained based on the original image, aspect ratio, additional image features are generated. For text with regional references, a visual sampler generates a corresponding regional continuous feature. The LLM uses full image representation, sub-image sub representation, the regional feature, and text embeddings to generate a response. Look at this image. <clears throat> this is, these are the elementary task data generation which is happening. A UI detector outputs all detected elements with each element type, text and bounding boxes. These detections are used to create training samples for elementary tasks. For grounding tasks, Apple has used all elements detection to create one sample for widget listing whereas the remaining tasks focus on one element at a time. And they have separated the elements into icons, text and non-icon widget. For each type, they have created one referring and one grounding sample. Also, this is the advanced task uh, data generation overview. What is happening here is they have first normalized bounding box coordinates from the detection outputs, and then they have sent a detection prompt and optional one shot example to GPT 4. For detail, uh, description and function inference, they pair the generated response with a pre-selection of prompt to train Parrot UI. For conversation task, they directly transform GPT-4 output to multi-turn conversation. So you can see that Apple has really taken it to another level, especially when it comes to these mobile devices. And I'm more than sure that this is going to be a big thing because in analyzing Ferret UI's referring capabilities, they have already done experiments and there are a lot of interesting observations where it performs really, really nicely. So I believe that Ferret UI has already demonstrated remarkable proficiency in referring, grounding and reasoning and the advent of these enhanced capabilities promises substantial advancements for a multitude of downstream UI applications and it is going to amplify the potential benefits afforded by Ferret UI. I will drop the link to this paper in video's description. Let me know your thoughts. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please ask. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.